In this video, we're going to look at some sample cutting force calculations for the lathe working in metric, and then calculate the clamping force required to resist the cutting forces. The material being cut is cast iron. It has a cutting speed of 33.5 meters per minute, a feed rate of 0.75 millimeters per rev will be used, and the depth of cut will be 6 millimeters. To calculate the volume material removal, First, we're going to multiply the cutting speed in meters per minute times 1,000 to convert it to millimeters per minute. Then we're going to multiply it by 1 over 60, so we get this in millimeters per second. Next, we'll multiply by the feed rate in millimeters per revolution, and then by the depth of cut in millimeters. And the last thing we need to do is multiply by 0 0.001 to convert our cubic millimeters to cubic centimeters. So for this part, we'll end up with a volume material removed is 2.5125 cubic centimeters per second. Our next step is to calculate the power required for the cut. To do this, we're going to multiply Q in centimeters cubed per second times the K factor in kilowatts per centimeter cubed per second, then divide by the machine efficiency. So in this case, we're going to multiply 2.5125 times the K factor of 2.48, and then divide by 0.7 to get a total power of 8.9014 kilowatts required for the cut. Now that we know our power requirement for the cut, we can calculate the cutting force in newtons. So we'll multiply the power requirement of 8.9014 kilowatts times 60,000 and divide by the cutting speed of 33.5 to get 15,943 newtons of cutting force. The final step for those of us in North America is likely to convert the force from newtons to pounds. To do that, I'm going to multiply my cutting force in newtons times 0.2248 to get a resulting force in pounds of 3,584. Therefore, my clamping force must resist double that, so 7,168 pounds. Now that I know I must create a clamping force to resist 7,200 pounds of force, I'll go to my charts and I find that if I use two 5 8 11 bolts, I can resist up to 7,400 pounds. Therefore, I'll use two 5 8 11 bolts in my clamps to properly secure to resist the cutting forces.